The first thing you think when you see the Pantheon desktop for elementary OS is that it looks an awful lot like Mac OS. Well that's precisely the point, but what else is going on beneath the bonnet here? Hi this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is Pantheon Desktop Review, Mac OS style in Linux. Pantheon Desktop is designed specifically for elementary OS and is considered one of the most visually appealing desktops around. It clearly draws a lot of inspiration from Mac OS, which makes it a great alternative for those who are looking to make the switch or have always wanted to master that workflow. In this Pantheon Desktop review, I'll take a look at user experience and performance as well as some notable features and deciding who should use the Pantheon Desktop. Pantheon First Impressions at first glance, I'm struck by how modern and simple Pantheon looks. As a long-time Mac user, it feels quite similar, with a sharp, updated theme and a minimalist appearance. Things work a lot like you'd expect for a desktop, and I appreciate how approachable it is. The layout is comfortable, and I'm able to settle in very easily. User experience the experience is quite similar to that of a Mac. If I wasn't paying attention and there was a slightly different theme, I may have to look twice to tell the difference between a laptop running Pantheon versus a Mac. The dock along the bottom, Plank, is incredibly simple and lightweight. It starts off with a default light theme from elementary OS, but you can change a lot about Plank with the command Plank dash dash preferences. Additionally, there's a great search function in the application menu in the upper left corner. You can either click it or use the keyboard shortcut super key plus space to open the application menu and then start typing to search for your application. This will also search App Center, which is the software center for elementary OS. There's a clock calendar combo in the center of the top bar, just like with GNOME Shell. It's a nice way to check dates and see events at a glance. The system tray is in the upper right, which houses sound settings and media controls, networking notifications and power and session controls. The interface is easy to navigate and everything is simple and welcoming. The application's theme and icons are quite beautiful and they make for a really attractive system that works incredibly well as a FOSS rival to Mac OS. The Pantheon Calendar app. Many of the default applications that ship with Pantheon by default are written from scratch or significantly modified from existing applications in the GNOME software pack. The Pantheon Calendar app is no different. It integrates beautifully into your default theme and it works well by showing both a month view and a daily view by default. It's incredibly simple, but it works beautifully for what you need. You can choose different months and days, manage calendars and add events, switch back to today's date and that's about it. It's elegant and stays out of your way. App Center. App Center is more a feature of elementary OS, but it's an integral part of Pantheon as we know it. App Center is the graphical software store in Pantheon, and it's not only beautiful, but very functional. It integrates flat packs beautifully, which is something the elementary team has been working on for some time. And it also gives developers the chance to have a suggested donation and maintain a pay what you want model, just like elementary OS itself. As far as graphical front ends for repository packages and flat packs go, App Center is one of the most clean and integrated. Code The Pantheon Code app is one of the cleanest, simplest text editors I've ever used. It's beautiful and provides you with all the options or choices you could want in a basic text editor. You can choose a language or framework, the number of spaces you want in your tabs, and also the lines and characters to jump to in the top menu. It's the perfect GUI text editor and allows for as much modularity as you would want without impeding your work. Switchboard. This is a small one, but I have to mention the excellent global settings menu called Switchboard. This is another one of the great calls from Mac OS, wherein you have one single global settings menu and you can choose all your options from it. Also, there's a powerful search function, so if you're not sure where to set your display options, you can search resolution and it will bring up an option for it. Keyboard shortcuts. An awesome feature of Pantheon is there are tons of great keyboard shortcuts. For example, you can open the application menu with super plus space. You can switch workspaces with super plus left or right. Tile windows with super plus control plus left or right. And show an awesome multitasking view with super plus down. Plus applications have hover menus that show useful keyboard shortcuts. This is quite similar to Mac OS, but they're much easier to find. Just hold down the super key and it'll bring up a list of keyboard shortcuts that are baked right into the system. Performance 
Performance with Pantheon is generally good, but it can be a bit of a mixed bag. At True Idle, the system uses about 550 megabytes of RAM and about 1% CPU. That's quite light, but as I watched this virtual machine, I noticed that occasionally Pantheon's window manager Gala would occasionally spike the CPU up at around 50%. This doesn't always happen and it could just be that I opened the terminal at an absolutely clean fresh boot but it still gave me pause. I've had Pantheon run on a 12 year old hardware with Core 2 Duo and have absolutely no problems. The performance is excellent and animations work well even in a virtual environment with absolutely zero 3D acceleration. This is something I haven't seen since I reviewed eLive, a Debian based distro using a great implementation of Enlightenment that is specifically touted as working well on computers with no 3D acceleration. Pantheon, however, works beautifully on low resource machines. The cons of Pantheon. Well, there's a lot to like about Pantheon. There's several things that many users won't like. One of the main things is that there's almost no customization. You can't even minimize the application windows. This is also a lot like Mac OS, where Apple limits your ability to customize the desktop beyond changing wallpapers, hot corners, and dock icon sizes. This has been worked around with elementary tweaks, but it involves adding a PPA and building the tweaks from source not exactly ideal. It's an overly complicated way to get a dark theme and change the minimize and maximize buttons in the window bars. Where to experience Pantheon? The obvious choice for Pantheon is elementary OS. It's easily the best and most complete implementation of Pantheon. The theme looks great, locking and screen savers work well, and it all melds together in one nice looking finished product. There are also versions of Pantheon available for stock Ubuntu, Arch and Fedora. From what I've heard and experienced, the experience is very widely between users, so I'd only recommend it if you're specifically looking to tinker with and mess around with things. Who should use Pantheon? Any user who values form over customization would love Pantheon. Everything looks and works great out of the box, and if you don't mind a light theme or no minimize button, you don't have to change anything. You can actually minimize with Super Plus H, by the way. Plus, if you want a dark theme, you can wait until Elementary OS 6 releases later this year, where the team is putting a dark theme toggle right after the box. Additionally, any user who's coming over from a Mac should try Elementary OS. It's an awesome alternative, and there are many different little tweaks you can do and apps you can install to make your experience more comfortable. Make sure you check out our other desktop environment reviews covering GNOME, KDE, XFCE, Cinnamon, and Mate. Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.